our list at number 10 is Rob Schneider, the hilarious actor well known for his work in comedy films. He was once taking on big roles starring in multiple movies next to other big stars like Adam Sandler. In the 1990s and early 2000s, he was everywhere. But nowadays you don't really see much of him anymore. Many would say that his time has passed. He's done a lot of the same comedy which had him playing similar parts each time and casting directors are probably looking for something more fresh and new. It doesn't help that some of his movies received very bad reviews and he was even sued for one of them. Back in 2010, investors sued him for his straight to DVD movie called The Chosen One because they wanted to recoup their investment since the movie didn't do very well. That doesn't really paint a pretty picture for other casting directors wanting to really work with him. It's been a few years since we have last seen him on a screen as Rob in the TV series Real Rob. Now his movies are mainly found in discount movie bins at the store and his latest booking was a video game back in 2018. At number 9 we have Julia Stiles. The actress first rose to stardom in the early 2000s with movies like 10 Things I Hate About You, Down to You and Save the Last Dance. She took home a number of Teen Choice Awards during the prime of her career. Her career was expected to blossom from there but it took a turn for the worse when her movies A Guy Thing, Mona Lisa Smile and The Omen all crashed at the box office. The actress spoke on her career and told an interviewer and I quote, I think audiences, producers and directors included develop crushes on actors and then lose interest and move on to the next one. She did admit that there are a handful of actors that are able to sustain interest throughout the years but sadly she wasn't one of them. She hasn't been seen since 2017 when she booked a role in the TV series Riveria. She is rumored to be in an upcoming movie called Hustlers where she booked the role as Jennifer. The movie has some big actors in it like JLo and apparently alongside her is Cardi B. Styles can't be found in any of the behind the scenes or promotions that are currently out so we're guessing that she is a secondary role or character which is a great job to book but nothing compared to what she used to do. Taking the number 8 spot on our list is Hayden Christensen. His career should have taken off when he played Anakin Skywalker in the Star Wars trilogy. However, he received more praise for his other work before that in A Life as a House and Shattered Glass. When auditioning for the role of Anakin, he was chosen for the role over 1500 other possibilities. It was unfortunate that his performance didn't wow anyone like his other work did. He took home two Golden Raspberry Awards for Worst Supporting Actor. Since then, the actor says it's been hard for him to find work ever since. He says that people can't get past his Anakin character and could only book some smaller roles in some films. For three years, he was in films that received negative reviews and even worse box office results. After that time, the actor said he pulled the plug on acting and bought a farm with his wife and kid instead. He has to make a living somehow and acting just isn't cutting it anymore. In the last four years, he's only been credited for four projects on IMDb and none of them that are recognizable. In at number 7, we have Ashley Green. Her career took off when she booked the role as Alice Cullen in the Twilight movie series. Between the years of 2009 and 2012, Ashley Green racked up 5 Teen Choice Awards for her role and she was even named Superstar of Tomorrow at the Young Hollywood Awards in 2012. It looked like her career would continue to take off from there but over the years it kind of just fizzled away. None of the movies she booked after that took home more than 1 million dollars, except for her movie The Apparition in 2012 which made 15 million dollars. However, the budget for the film was 17 million dollars so it wouldn't be considered a win since casting directors and agents want actors who will bring them some money. Since then she's had a hard time finding decent work and nothing compares to her years with the Twilight franchise. Sliding into number 6 is Vince Vaughn, a very successful actor who has a huge list of movies like Old School and Wedding Crashers. He's mainly recognized for his comedic characters which might be the reason he stopped booking lead roles over the years. A pattern began to unravel in his career where he only played the same type of character over and over again. Some would say that his charm has worn off. He's been out of the spotlight for some time now and turned to the production side of things where he has quite the list on his resume. He hasn't given up on acting though, he does book whatever he can get his hands on. He's done some films which made it into film festivals but not theaters and he might be returning to a bigger movie with Liam Hemsworth. In October 2018, it was rumored that he'd be doing a movie called Arkansas but nothing has been mentioned ever since then. We're not sure what his role would be or if it's really happening. All we know is he hasn't starred in a big Hollywood movie in in years. Halfway through our list at number 5 is Catherine Zeta Jones. She was wildly popular in the early 2000s where she had great success for her movies, even taking home the Best Supporting Actress Oscar for her role in Chicago. But over the past decade, her career dwindled away and according to Catherine, it's because of her age. She spoke out on the issue during an interview and said, I quote, It's not that there aren't great stories to be told about women in their 40s, it's just that the big boss 
audiences in Hollywood feel that the demographic of moviegoers are less interested. During the years of 2014 to 2016, she had zero credits to her name. Since then, she booked a small role in a TV series called Feud and more recently booked a role on the show Queen America. The show's network, however, is Facebook Watch, which is a video on demand service operated by Facebook, which I've never heard of. So many people haven't even heard of it or seen her show. The show ran for a season in 2018 and has yet to be confirmed for another one. All right, guys, at number four, we have Katherine Heigl. The actress was once taking the lead in every movie in the later 2000s. Back to back, she starred in Knocked Up, 27 Dresses, and then The Ugly Truth. At the same time, she also starred on the TV hit series Grey's Anatomy. As time went on, she was no longer able to book the lead in big Hollywood movies like she was known for doing. One big reason why could be that she dissed some of the movies that she worked on. She publicly spoke badly about her biggest blockbuster hit, Knocked Up. She told Vanity Fair in 2008, and I quote, It paints women as shrews, as humorless, and uptight. I'm playing such a bitch. It was hard for me to love the movie. She also went on to diss her time on Grey's Anatomy and even pulled herself from the race for an Emmy nomination. She hasn't had the best reputation over the years, and it didn't help when Forbes reported her as Hollywood's most overpaid actress in December 2013. They stated studios return on investment of just $3.50 for every $1 she was paid. That's nothing when you compare it to an actress like Natalie Portman, who is $42.70 for every $1 paid. Needless to say, we haven't seen her in Hollywood movie in years. You can find her playing a secondary role on the TV series Suits, and that's about it. At spot number three is Chris Owen. Back in 1999, the actor made a name for himself by playing Chuck Sherman, aka The Shermanator, in the hit comedy movie American Pie. He reprised the role for all the films and even in the spin off American Pie Presents Bandcamp. Outside of the franchise, he had other success in shows like Seventh Heaven and The Mentalist. However, his career faded and he was off the Hollywood radar for a number of years. In 2014, New York Daily News reported he was working as a waiter in a restaurant in California. In the interview, he said, Life doesn't always go the way you planned. I love acting and this job lets me stay in the fight. The good news is the article helped him book two small film roles after it was published. Since then, he's been able to pop up in a few things here or there like an episode on Criminal Minds back in 2016. We can't blame the guy for trying. I have some serious respect for him. All right, guys, at number two is Matthew Fox. He had a successful acting career taking on roles in the hit TV series Haunted and Lost. However, over the years, he's made a name for himself as one you don't want to hire. He attempted a movie career which never really took off. Both of his movies, Alex Cross and World War Z, were box office flops, and his role for one of them was mostly cut out of the final product. In his personal life, he's made some nasty headlines, including allegations from former co-stars that he beats women. One allegation came from a woman accusing him of hitting a female bus driver. He's also been charged with a few DUIs. He publicly talked about giving up on acting, which also makes it harder to cast him. During an interview, he said if he doesn't get quality opportunities, he won't take anything at all. This is probably why he has no credits to his name since 2015. Taking our number one spot is Drew Barrymore, a very successful actress who grew up in the spotlight. She began as a child star and her career continued to take off from there. The reason we don't see her anymore is because she's no longer gets booked for roles like she used to. However, she is okay with it. She has made it clear that she will only take certain roles because she wants to be a good role model to her daughters. It limits the option for casting directors to hire her, which is why she turned to the producer side of things. And just like her acting was successful, so is her production company. She teamed up with Jimmy Fallon's wife to create the company, which has some successful hits like How to Be Single and Santa Clarita Diet. This is why you can see Drew starring in the Netflix series because she actually produced it. It probably would have been different if she didn't produce it because we haven't seen her in a big Hollywood hit since the movie Blended back in 2014. I personally still love her though, she's the best. Starting off our list at number 10 is Macaulay Culkin. The child star became a household name courtesy of Home Alone and then its sequel. His career started off strong, but his household name didn't stand strong for long. He continued to book roles after that, but none of them really put him on the map the way his childhood did. In 2005, he had drug charges against him, which he pleaded guilty to. He pleaded guilty to the possession of marijuana and medication without a prescription. He was given a one-year deferred jail sentence and was ordered to pay his fees. The actor was only 24 at the time. This was just a few weeks after he appeared in court to defend the case that was going on against Michael Jackson, who had sexual assault charges against him at the time. Culkin faced a lot of heat for defending the man who was being accused of child molesting, but he stood firm on his beliefs. Now, in 2019, at 38 years old, he still faces the heat defending the documentary 
that recently came out about the Michael Jackson allegations. Culkin has no problem admitting that he spent a lot of time alone with Jackson, but nothing inappropriate ever took place. He claims that they were just best friends. The two remained close over the years, and Culkin is actually the godfather to his daughter, Paris Jackson. He has stayed out of Hollywood movies for some time now and has turned to live comedy acts where he has no problem joking about the Michael Jackson scandal. You can only imagine that some people don't take his jokes too well. At number nine is Dane Cook. He first began his career as a comedian, but then later brought his skills into the movie world. He made his first on screen appearance in the movie Employee of the Month, where he starred with Jessica Simpson. Unfortunately, his first major role was a flop, and the movie received only a 20% on Rotten Tomatoes. He tried to make a comeback when he took on a major role in Good Luck Chuck. The movie was given horrible reviews and received just a 5% on Rotten Tomatoes. Not only were his movies a flop, but his comedy took a hit after he made an inappropriate joke back in 2012 about a mass shooting. He made a joke referencing the shooting that happened in Colorado during the screening of The Dark Knight Rises. The actor apologized later for his joke, but some people weren't so forgiving. More recently, he's been caught up in another controversy by people judging him for dating a girl who is only 19 years old. They began dating when she was just 18 years old and he was 45 at the time. The two of them have continued dating for over a year now. People have had no problem voicing their opinion on the 26 year age gap. Dane is staying away from acting but is making a comeback in comedy by doing a comedy tour this year. He admits that he will be sticking to comedy and that acting is in his past. Taking over spot number 8 is Misha Barton. The actress became an international star for her role as Marissa Cooper on the hit TV series The OC. Her career took a hit when she quit the show the year before it ended its 4 season run. Her acting career has stalled for the past 11 years as she tried to make a comeback but only made headlines and for all the wrong reasons. In 2007 she was arrested for a DUI and was given 36 months probation, alcohol education classes and had to pay a fine as part of the plea deal. Later in 2009 the former star was then hospitalized in a psych ward and E! News said it was for suicidal actions. After that she continued to try and book smaller roles like her guest appearance on Law and Order and Noel Gallagher's music video for his song Everybody's on the Run. People were happy to see her on Dancing with the Stars in 2016 but she was the second celebrity contestant to be eliminated so we didn't see her for very long. 2017 was a tough one for her. She was once again hospitalized and then had a lawsuit case against her ex-boyfriend who filmed an explicit video of her without her consent and was selling them online. She ended up removing herself from the spotlight and rightfully so and now she says she's in a better place. We will see her making an appearance in the upcoming reality show The Hills, but as far as her acting days, she said that she just started reading scripts again, though maybe she will have another shot at it. Sliding into number 7 is John Cusack. The actor began starring in films during the 1980s and has starred in a number of movies ever since, like Say Anything, The Raven, and Love and Mercy. However, he made a total of 17 movies between the years 2012 to 2016, and a big chunk of them just went straight to DVD. Most of them you probably haven't even heard of, unless you're digging through that $5 Walmart bin still, which is fine, judgment free zone. He did have some higher quality movies though, like his 2015 movie Love and Mercy. It got some Oscar buzz for his co-star Elizabeth Banks. The actor is now in his 50s and I'm not saying he's too old to act by any means, but if it were 15 years ago, he would still be able to audition for the rom-coms he used to do. Things are just different for the actor now, the industry is constantly changing. It hasn't stopped him from keeping busy with a number of passion projects, writing a book, and even co-funding a foundation called Freedom of the Press. At number 6 is Sinead Grimes. She used to be an it girl in the running, starring on two major TV shows, Degrassi, The Next Generation, and then 90210. The Canadian actress was on her way, but her career went in a different direction than most people expected. She ended up becoming a co-anchor and correspondent for Pop Sugar back in 2015. She reported everything like fashion, movies, television, and celebrity news. She called the opportunity, and I quote, an incredible start to a new chapter in my career. From there, she also appeared on as a guest on both Fashion Police and Fashion News Live. Over the years, she's continued to book smaller acting gigs, but she turned her focus more onto fashion. She began her own clothing and jewelry line with her husband called Two Half. Fans were excited when she announced in 2018 that she was working on a crime drama TV series called The Detail. However, she later announced on a YouTube video that the show was actually cancelled. She now spends most of her time vlogging on her YouTube channel and working on her business. Halfway through our list at number 5 is Sarah Michelle Gellar. The actress
actress will always be known for Buffy the Vampire Slayer because of its massive success, but she did continue her acting career after that. She began doing horror films, which transitioned her from the TV series to the big screen. How can we forget when she was haunted in Tokyo by the terrifying grudge? Some of her movies were ripped to shreds though by critics, and even some of her non horror movies were considered to be flops. Like her sci fi romantic comedy, Simply Irresistible. It only received a 13% on Rotten Tomatoes, and it only took home $4 million at the box office. She attempted to go back to TV, but her TV show Ringer was cancelled, and her show The Crazy Ones, with Robin Williams at the time, was cancelled after just one season. She did find success as a voice actor, though. She is now focused on her business that she launched called Foodsters. It's a cooking and lifestyle brand that she runs with her husband, Freddie Prince Jr. She is now a proud mother of two and still books acting projects just whenever she can. All right, guys, at number four is Tobey Maguire, or Peter Parker as we know him. He was at the height of his career during his 2007 Spider Man adventure, but the series reboot also meant the end of his career in some ways. After the Spider Man success, he continued to act in other movies, but they just didn't do well. In 2011, he starred in the romantic comedy The Details, which received mixed reviews about his performance. He popped up on television when he took on one of the leads in Gatsby, but ever since then, it doesn't seem like he's had many leading opportunities. In 2014, he starred in Pawn Sacrifice, which had positive reviews, but was a box office flop. The film cost $19 million to make and only made $5.6 million back. It seemed that he kind of went MIA in 2014, and we've only seen him in 2017 when he did voiceover work in The Boss Baby. I'm not sure what the exact reasoning is. Did he just give up on acting? Did casting directors give up on him? Who knows? He doesn't have any credits to his name since 2017, so only one can wonder what exactly he's been up to. In at number three is Billy Zane. He played the villain in what was once the biggest movie of all time, Titanic. Yes, he was the snooty British guy who taunts Kate Winslet just as the big ship is about to sink. After having the wildly successful movie on his resume, you would expect it to just keep building from there. And it did, but only in movies you've probably never heard of. The actor also did some TV work back in 2016 when he took on the role of Stan in the TV series called Guilt. His TV time didn't last long though because the show got cancelled after just one season. If you watch the show Curfew, which is currently running, you can see him playing Joker Jones. Some people haven't even heard of the show, but those who have seem to enjoy seeing Billy after all of these years. As for booking movie roles, he continues to take on all the projects that he can. Here we are at number 2 with Lori Loughlin. The actress is best known for her role as Aunt Becky from the hit sitcom Full House. From there, her career continued to be a huge success as she booked roles on the TV series Summerland and 90210. More recently, you would have seen her in the Netflix reboot Fuller House and the TV series called When Calls the Heart. She has also had a number of TV movies on her resume, but just this year in early 2019, her career took a massive hit when she got involved in an FBI sting that people say destroyed her future. She was one of many people who were charged for being involved in a massive scam involving wealthy people who paid huge sums to a man named William Singer. He would get their kids into top schools such as Yale, Stanford, and USC by by forging SAT scores and exam results. Government officials reported that the actress and her husband spent $500,000 on the services to get their daughters into USC. FBI agents attempted to arrest the actress at her California home on March 12, 2019, but she was filming in Vancouver. They ended up arresting her husband instead, and then she turned herself in the following day. After the scandal, it was reported that she was fired from Fuller House and Hallmark's parent company called Crown Media. Here's hoping that Hollywood can be forgiving and that she can return to the screen soon. Taking our number one spot is Taylor Lautner. Yes, the Hollywood heartthrob is taking our number one spot. Before all you Twilight fans get all defensive, ask yourself when you last saw him in a big Hollywood movie. It has been years. We all know him to play the successful role of Jacob in the Twilight series, but that all came to an end, and that is when he had to create a career outside of that role. In 2011, he had the lead role in an action thriller movie called Abduction, which should have set his acting career in motion. The movie received mixed critics and didn't do as well as they thought it would at the box office. He was cast for the smaller roles after that, like 10 episodes as Dr. Cassidy Cassade on the TV series Scream Queens in 2016. There isn't much on his resume after that, so if he plans on making it back on the big screen, I think it's going to take some hard work. What do you guys think? Do you think he will make a comeback? At number 10, Army Hammer. Army Hammer made headlines early this year as some DMs were leaked on social media which showed Army talking about his bedroom fantasies. Some of the things discussed in the messages were Army's desire to 
eat someone, and some people, like ex-partners, have come forward with their personal accounts of ARMY's fantasies. Because of this bombshell story, ARMY has spent the last year losing work and watching his career fall to pieces. When the scandal first broke, he backed out of an upcoming film project alongside Jennifer Lopez in hopes to save his career, and he also dropped out of a series he was cast for for Paramount+. Plus. Now he's out of work and he won't be finding any more anytime soon as he's also been dropped by his agent and his personal publicist. Hollywood will definitely not be casting ARMY in any upcoming productions unless he is able to rebuild his image after the scandal, and even then, it'll take a lot of work to get back in Hollywood's good graces. At number 9, James Corden. This year, people learned that they not so secretly hate James Corden. The amount of times I saw James Corden trending on Twitter for people just talking about how much they hate him kind of says a lot about the actor and his place in Hollywood. The actor and late night host got in a lot of scandals this year, as I mentioned in one of our other videos, so another one in 2022 is probably a guarantee at this point, and that just means trouble for James' career. So far, James has faced backlash for his undermining of his employees at his late night show. He's faced backlash for the Spill Your Guts or Fill Your Guts segment as well, as he's been known to use traditional Asian foods as part of the gross foods category. On top of that, he's faced a lot of scrutiny for his Golden Globes nomination for his role in the movie Prom, where he played a gay character because people thought that he used too many gay stereotypes in his performance. On top of that, a number of people who have worked with him or have had encounters with the host have made a lot of negative comments. I've made a lot of negative comments about him, making him look like a pretty bad guy. The more bad press, the less people want to work with him, and because some fans have literally started making petitions to keep James out of certain big Hollywood productions, the executives might have to start listening to the fans and not hire James Corden. Before we carry on talking about the people Hollywood might not want to work with next year, why not take a moment to leave a like on this video if you're enjoying it so far, and subscribe to the channel to see more videos like this one. At number 8, Gina Carano. Up next, we have another celebrity who has faced a lot of backlash this year for old Twitter posts. Known for her role on the Disney Plus series The Mandalorian, actress Gina Carano began to face massive backlash for her social media posts that exposed her ideals and opinions that some people took offense to. Though there were a few posts that garnered a lot of negative attention, such as her comments on putting your pronouns in your social media bio, the one that was seemingly the last straw for her Disney career was a post that compared being a Republican to being a victim of the horrors of World War II, saying that Republicans are being persecuted because of their political beliefs. A lot of people took offense to this and led to more backlash and to her getting exposed for her unpopular opinions. Other posts that caused Gina to face scrutiny include her tweets about voter fraud in the US, as well as posts mocking people who wear masks amidst the pandemic. According to a source, the people behind the Mandalorian series had been looking for a reason to fire Gina because of her controversial social media presence, and so this exposure was allegedly the catalyst that led to them firing Gina from her role. Because of the nature of this scandal and the offensive things that were said, Gina might find it hard to find work in the new year if people still haven't forgiven or forgotten about her latest scandal. At number 7, Justin Timberlake. Justin Timberlake started facing a lot of backlash this year with fans of Britney Spears flooding his social media pages and demanding that he apologize after the way he treated her in the media after their breakup in the early 2000s. The Framing Britney Spears documentary that was released looked into the way that the pop star was shown in the media from the paparazzi to interviews, and it dives deep into how this stardom affected her. A big part of the documentary explores Justin Timberlake's role in the media's mistreatment of Britney after their public breakup in 2002. After their relationship ended, Justin made Britney look like the villain in the relationship, accusing her of cheating and essentially weaponizing their breakup to boost his own career. This prompted the media to put a lot of blame and shame on Britney, who really didn't deserve it. Now that fans in the media are revisiting Justin's actions, there are a number of people calling for accountability and this could hurt his career. Because of all the drama that Britney faced this year, and combined with people digging into her past, the fact that Justin played a role in the media's mistreatment of the pop star may hurt his career and might make it harder to find work in the new year. At number 6, Jamie Lynn Spears. Another person whose career may be damaged after this drama with Britney Spears is her sister Jamie Lynn Spears, who got caught up in the scandal that was her sister's conservatorship case. 
There was a lot of family drama involved, as you could imagine, and instead of laying low, she stepped into the spotlight, and doing that attracted a lot of hate towards her. Many of Britney's fans criticized Jamie for not standing up for her sister and watching her suffer through the conservatorship for so long. Things took such a nasty turn for Jamie that it's damaged her relationship with Britney, and now with the massive amount of support that Britney had garnered over the last few months, an enemy of Britney is an enemy for everyone. Britney's fans are watching her sister like a hawk, waiting for one wrong move in order to cancel her, and this bad press probably wouldn't make Hollywood executives want to hire her over fears of bad publicity. At number five, Chris Pratt. It seems like Chris Pratt is having a hard time in the media lately. Chris has been making headlines recently because people want him to be canceled. First, back in 2020, people were upset with the actor because he didn't publicly support Joe Biden, and a lot of people also took to criticizing his Christian faith. Now, someone's faith is no reason to hate someone, I will say, that is just absurd, but it still had a lot of people going off at him. On top of that, just recently, Chris faced backlash after he posted about his wife Catherine Schwarzenegger and how she gave him a gorgeous, healthy daughter." End quote. This had people running to his ex on a Ferris to support her because fans believed that Chris's comment was a dig at the fact that their son Jack was born premature and had to spend time in the NICU before being allowed to go home after he was born. People called Chris out for his choice of words, and they're using this as further fuel to use against the actor. I feel like with this tension bubbling up, 2022 might be the year that Chris Pratt actually gets cancelled and this might have a very big impact on his career. At number 4, Leah Michelle. TV and Broadway actress Leah Michelle was cancelled in 2020 after a bunch of people came forward to expose her for her awful on-set behavior and apparently she still remains cancelled. Reports and accusations came out last summer detailing how she'd been known to disrespect people she's worked with in the past and this all started at the height of the Black Lives Matter movement where one of Leah's former Glee co-star Samantha Ware called Leah out on how the actress made her time on the show a quote, living hell. This ended up causing a chain reaction of other people coming forward to talk about their horror stories of working with the actress, with some revealing how she would disrespect and talk down to background actors on set, how she would delay production, and how she would refuse to talk to anyone face to face and how she would even force them to speak with her assistant instead. Because of all this negative attention, Leah was cancelled, and as I mentioned before, that cancel status still sticks. Leah hasn't been able to bounce back from that drama that went down last year, so 2022 might be another rough year for the actress's career. At number 3, Chris D'Elia. Another celebrity who might have a hard time finding work in 2022 is actor and comedian Chris D'Elia. The comedian remains cancelled after he faced multiple allegations of misconduct and harassment girls online last year, and this whole scandal caused him to be essentially fired from Hollywood. After multiple women came forward to share their unpleasant experiences with the comedian, from unwanted advances to indecent exposure and gaslighting, Chris was caught and exposed for his actions, lost all support and credibility in the industry, and pretty much hit rock bottom. Though this scandal initially started last year, Chris is still facing more allegations in 2021, and a lawsuit was filed in early March accusing Chris of soliciting private gift photos from a young woman under the age of 18. Though this happened in 2014 when she was 17, she said that she was inspired by the other women who've come forward to tell her story and seek justice. Because he's been dropped by his talent agency and he's lost out on a Netflix special, it might be safe to say that he won't be working in Hollywood again anytime soon. At number two, Ellen DeGeneres. Though many of us know Ellen DeGeneres as the famed talk show host, she is also an actress, having starred in her own comedy show as well as voicing Dory in Finding Nemo and Finding Dory. She certainly fits the criteria for this list, both for her work and for being cancelled. Last year, Ellen was exposed for creating a toxic work environment on The Ellen Show, and she was the recipient of a lot of negative attention and backlash in 2020. Rumors started circulating about Ellen not being as nice as she is portrayed as on TV, and soon former employees started coming forward with their own horror stories about Ellen and the work environment that they had to deal with. There were allegations of racial microaggressions, discrimination, and harassment 
on the part of Ellen as well as other higher ups in the company. For months, Ellen was being exposed for her toxic behavior and she faced a lot of flack for it, having to issue multiple apologies to make up for things. Stars who had been on The Ellen Show in the past came forward to talk about their experiences with the comedian and many interviews were being picked apart by people online, digging up moments that show Ellen in the negative light. Basically, Ellen got exposed to the max and she lost credibility, her show tanked, and now it's ending. And because of all this, no one knows what the future holds for Ellen. And finally, at number one, Shia LaBeouf. From what we've seen in the news over the years and from what we've heard from other celebrities, I think it's safe to say that Shia LaBeouf isn't doing too great in Hollywood right now. There are a lot of people who are still fans of the actor, but after hearing about his questionable and sometimes downright disrespectful actions, idolizing Shia probably isn't the greatest thing. He is someone who's faced a lot of allegations as of late. Last year, Shia faced allegations from his ex-girlfriend FKA Twigs after she filed a lawsuit against him detailing some of the encounters that she had with him. Twigs alleged that he threatened to crash a car with her in it if she didn't profess her love for him and claimed that he would sometimes grab her so hard that she would bruise. Even singer Sia came forward with her own allegations against the actor, saying that she too had been emotionally damaged by Shia. On top of that, he was fired by Olivia Wilde from the upcoming film Don't Worry Darling. Due to his alleged bad behavior, as people have cited that Shia is quote, not an easy guy to work with. Because of all this bad press, I think it'll be tough for Shia to find work in Hollywood next year.